Okay, we've got 13 pen lights. They range from pretty small, the smaller than I would consider a pen light, all the way to bigger than I would consider a pen light. The water bottle and the soda are there for reference. They range from $2 up to about $52. And we're gonna take a quick look at all of them. And here they are sideways with a marker in the middle, again for size comparison. And here they are in a profile view. They are arranged from shortest to longest. So here is the setup. I have a camera here pointing at that garage door. I've got a camera here, a still camera here, pointing at the same garage door. The garage door is 20 feet from the table. I will put each light right next to this camera lens. The settings on this camera are locked and it is approximately what I see with my naked eye in the dark. This camera adjusts automatically, so I think the still images will be a truer representation of each one. If it's rechargeable, it's fully charged, and if it has batteries, they're brand new. Okay, for reference, we have just an iPhone. It's an iPhone 15. The first one we're testing is a Coast PX22. Purchased from Walmart, it was $8.88. They say it's 100 lumens, and it takes one AAA battery. Next up, we have a HyperTuff 120L. Also from Walmart, it was $12.47. They say it's 120 lumens. It runs off two AAA batteries. Next, we have also from Walmart, a HyperTuff HT25LM. Uh, they say it's 25 lumens as advertised. Uh, it's $1.97 and it runs off two AAA batteries. That's right, it's $1.97. It comes with batteries, but again, they all have brand new ones for the sake of fair comparison. Next, we have a Milwaukee 2010R. I purchased this from Walmart. Not Walmart, no. I purchased this from Home Depot. It was $39.97. They say it's 250 lumens and it's got two AAA batteries. They all came with batteries or they're rechargeable. Next up is the first of the rechargeable ones. This is an Amazon, it's a Nightcore MT2A. It was $44.95 and it's a thousand lumens. It has a rechargeable battery. You have to take the battery out, plug it into a USB-C, then it charges. Next, we have a Coast G20, which Coast G20. This, I got it at Home Depot for $12.67. It has 120 lumens and it has two AAA batteries. Next, we have an Olight i5T Plus. I got it off of Amazon. It was $33.96. It's 550 lumens and it runs off two AAA batteries. Next we have an Energizer X400. Bought it off Amazon. It was $11.80. It's advertised at 400 lumens and it is rechargeable with a mini USB and you don't have to take it apart. Next, we have another Walmart purchase. This is a Heart HKPL120. Advertised at 150 lumens. It was $16.88 at Walmart. It also has a laser, a laser pointer. Next, we have a Streamlight Stylus Pro. USB. There's a couple different versions of this, but this is the Stylus Pro USB. It was $51.99, the most expensive of the bunch, and it is advertised at 350 lumens, and it uses a rechargeable battery with a USB, hence the name Stylus Pro USB. Next, we have a Nebo Inspector 500. This was $31.74 on Amazon. They say it's 500 lumens and it has a rechargeable battery as well. Next, we have a Braun 70806 from Harbor Freight. 
It was 1999. Didn't have a coupon. Probably should have looked. It was 1999. Advertised at 450 lumens. Rechargeable with a USB-C. And that's Harbor Freight Bronze 70806. Next, we have the biggest one. I don't think I'd call it a pen light, but I want it to kind of have bookends. Um, it is a Coast G32. It's 465 lumens. Let me make sure it's on the brightest mode. 465 lumens. Uh, I got it at Lowe's for $20.98. And it uses two double A's. Just want to talk about each one a little bit. This one, the Coast PX22. I like it because it's simple. Uh, it's, it's tiny. Uh, I wouldn't quite consider it a pen light because it's, it's much shorter than a pen I'd write with. But um, I like that it has momentary operation and you click it to leave it on. It's a simple flashlight. This one here, this HyperTuff, it's a little brighter, it's a little bigger, it's got a more rugged feel, but it's the same idea. You can momentary or you can click it on. It's got a nice belt clip, it's easy. This one, the $2 special, I mean, you gotta, it does it momentary on, but who, it was $2, who cares? It's great. The Milwaukee does everything you expect it to do. I like the warm color of the light. Um, I like the size of it. It's 40 bucks. This one, the Nightcore, had my favorite tail cap. Um, you, you can turn it on and it remembers the last setting and you don't have to go back. You don't have to shut it off. You can just lightly tap it to change settings. Like right now it's on low. If I shut it off, if I turn it back on tomorrow, it's turning on to low, which I like because if you were, I just like that it remembers the last setting. This one is Coast G20. Really, really liked. Um, the, the beam is just so, so like even and uniform. It's like a miniature tiny spotlight. So if you had a situation where you, it's not very bright, but it's very focused. If you had a situation where you didn't want a lot of light, if you're a, doctor or nurse checking on somebody at night. One of my kids used to have an ostomy bag. Like you could, you could easily just check it and not risk waking somebody up. Uh, if you're in a situation where you need a little, some light in a very specific area, it really well done. Oh, light, they make nice flashlights. Uh, it starts off on the dimmer setting and then it warms up to the brighter setting when you push it again. It's a nice flashlight. That's it. This also had the two, the two, um, the clip goes the other way, so you clip it to a brim of a hat and have um, a little bit of a headlight. Um, the Nightcore did that also. Uh, most of them didn't. It was just uh, it was just those two that that would do that. That would let you clip it to a or have that clip that worked both ways. Ah, oh, the heart does too. So if you wanted a laser beam on your hat, you could have that too. Um, next, we got this. Um, the dura the energizer um this is rechargeable it's just a nice flashlight you can adjust the thing by pulling it but for 12 bucks i mean rechargeable light it's plenty bright it's awesome heart um i found the belt clip to be kind of sharp when i was pulling it in and out of my pocket but if you want something with a laser you can you can do that um but it, there's no other adjustments i like the simplicity of that you turn it on it's a flashlight you shut it off it's done the stream light came in a couple different ways this one's the rechargeable USB one, but there's a couple other ones. There's one that has like a lantern function built in, and uh, there was some other ones too. But no, I mean, Streamlight, that's what they make, is good flashlights. Uh, but I, I like this. Um, it's what you expect. It's expensive, but you're, you're paying for that quality. This Nebo is probably my favorite. Uh, it has, this has that same functionality of the Streamlight I didn't buy. That, like you can pull this top down and it becomes like a little lantern. And it works well enough, especially if it's, it's real dark. Um, I like the rechargeableness. I just think that's the way to go. This, the Harbor Freight, the Braun, um, it's a bright light. Um, it starts off on the dimmest setting. You can, you can adjust the focus if you turn it. Um, when you look at them, when they're side by side, you can see the size difference. But it's such an obvious, uh, it's very similar in appearance to the Streamlight. But it's a little bit bigger, and you can focus it. Uh, and they both recharge um, the Harbor Freight's USB-C and the, uh, the Braun is USB-C and the um, Streamlight is a micro USB. And then the biggest one, this is just a normal flashlight. Why it's in my pen light test, I don't know, but I wanted to kind of bookend it with one too big and too small. It's just a normal flashlight. And for 22 bucks, it's nice. 
two double A's. I don't really know what to do with them now, so I guess um, I'm just going to give them away. So if you want to go to my website, send me a, um, a message. I'll email you back asking for your address, and um, I'm going to keep this one because I like it. Um, but otherwise, first come, first serve. Um, send me a, a message, in, and it's yours. There's no strings attached. Um, just like to send them all to a good home because probably shouldn't have bought them all. No clue what I spent on all these. Some I had. Eh, maybe two I had. Yeah, but if you want them and you watch this far, send me a message and it's yours. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.